one important difference between strings and numbers is that unlike strings, numbers don't need quotation marks when we refer to them. So if we set the value of a variable to a number, we shouldn't use quotation marks around it, otherwise Perl is going to interpret the value that we've given it as an arbitrary string value. So it's going to be the number 3, followed by the number 5, followed by the number 4, rather than the number 354. Similarly, we don't want to get, if we're performing some kind of numeric operation such as adding 10 to 10, we don't want to use any quotes anywhere in there at all because Perl needs to be able to say, OK, this is a number and this is a number and we're going to treat them both like numbers when we come to add them together. So when we go to set up our variable there, age, we don't have to use any quote marks. We can just put the number straight in. One final thing on, on the issue of the quotation marks is that when we come to use quotation marks within a string, we then have a bit of a dilemma. It's not a terribly inspired line of prose, but I think it, it uh, shows what I'm trying to say here. The Perl executable is able to tell that this whole string is a string because of the fact that we've put a quotation mark around either side of the string. However, we need to put more quotation marks within the string as well to show that the word, in this case, is a piece of dialogue. However, because the way the Perl executable works, like every other programming language, is a very explicit and literal-minded way, it's not able to reasonably say, oh, of course, these single quotes here within the string are not supposed to be anything to do with marking whether a string starts or stops. Instead, Perl is going to say, OK, this section of code is a string, and then this section of code is not a string, and then this section of code is a string again. And that will make an absolute nonsense of this line of code, because then the area in here has to be interpreted as Perl code. Let's see what happens when we try to run this program, we get a rather nasty and ugly error. Bare word found where operator expected. What it's trying to tell us is that it's not liking hello. It's not liking that hello because it doesn't make any sense to it, and it's not able to treat it as a string because we've used a quote mark there. Now to get round it, there's two ways we can do it. One way is to mix the kind of quotes that we're using. We could use double quotes in here, then Perl will be completely happy. Alternatively, we could use double quotes on the outside, and then any single quotes that we use within the string will be treated as simply part of the string and not anything to do with whether the string itself is starting or stopping. Once again, we're able to achieve the same result. However, it may be that, for the reasons of efficiency that I mentioned earlier, we want to use single quotes. And it may be that, for the reasons of prose style, we want to be using single quotes within our text as well. Help is at hand. We can use the backslash. And this is called escaping a character. It's just like we did with the lowercase n earlier, where we wanted to tell Perl that to treat the n as a new line character. In this case, we're telling Perl to treat the quotation marks as simple quotation marks, rather than treating them as marking the beginning or ending of a string. If we save that, return to our command prompt. As you can see, Perl is able to cor correctly interpret what we want those quote marks in that context to mean.